I want to read this particular email that was sent to me. I'm going to put it here or here or somewhere, wherever it fits in. So uh, this email was sent to me in response to uh, my video I just put out recently, those who do versus those who prep. And I'll just read the email and I'll comment along the way, but it's a nice email, so I thought it would be kind of cool to listen to. Hello, I just wanted to thank you for your latest video, Developer Life Lesson, Those Who Do versus Those Who Prep. I feel like this video was recorded for me. Believe me, you're not the only one. We all get caught in this tutorial-itis thing. We all get caught in that, whether it be encoding or fighting. I called a, you know, make, in, I talked about this, the pad hitters in, in, a, in a boxing gym or a Muay Thai gym. These people who go to a gym and they want to learn how to fight, but they get caught up doing drills and drills and drills, and they don't really want to get in the ring to actually fight. And eventually, if they ever get in the ring to fight, they realize that all their years of hitting the pads and doing the drills didn't really prepare them for actual combat. Uh, yeah, so same thing with doing tutorials in uh, development. You have to do your foundations, do one or two tutorials, and then you got to get out there. You got to get in the ring, so to speak. Anyway, let me just continue this guy's video. I feel like this video was recorded for me. I think I am trapped in tutorials, and I am starting to think if I can succeed in web development. I'm stuck for two years and I don't know how to escape. I don't think I'm dumb, but something else is wrong. I just, I jump between technologies, between tutorials. I'm basically afraid of the real world. That's it. It's just fear. You don't want to get into it. Just jump into it. Trust me, you learn so much more by just jumping into a gig. Once you have your foundations down, do one or two tutorials and then do a gig and then you figure out how to get it done as you go. That's how I did it. That's how all developers start out. All my thoughts are, I will fail at the job interview. So what? So you go on to the next interview. There's ton, tons of jobs. Uh, next, next comment. I will never have a job in web development. These are his fears. I jump between technologies because I think, oh, React gives me a bigger chance to succeed and I will get a job. No, wait, maybe WordPress and PHP. But somewhere inside, I know that's stupid. Maybe I will overcome this problem. Eventually, I hope. Thank you so much for your, all your videos, everything you do for the community. You have such a positive impact on people's lives. If you, I feel better if I watch your videos. Thank you for your wisdom. Well, I appreciate that. I'm glad I'm helping people out. Uh, this is why I'm in this, what I do here. Yeah, I, it's, I make money. Uh, it's good for my reputation, etc. But I like helping people. I come from a family of teachers. My father's a teacher. Many of my aunts and many of my aunts and uncles, many cousins. My brother taught for a little while, so it's just like in my it's in my blood to teach. And I love hearing back from students. Like I'm gonna be talking to some students on camera. So some have gone really done really really well. Older students of mine have come back, uh, have raised huge amounts of money and are doing very well with their technology businesses. Anyway, this whole thing about this fear of getting outside of the, uh, out of the training camp and you know taking the training wheels off of your bike, your coding bike, just jumping in there. Yes, let me just tell you a quick story. My first full stack web development job, I took that job, got paid in half for it, having never done database work prior. And this whole app was all database driven and I had never done it before and I got the gig and I got paid for half of it. You, you always want to get paid at least part of, uh, you know, part of the contract up front, a little tip for freelancers out there. Um, if you want more details, check out my freelance course. Anyhow, so when I did my first CRUD based web app for a client. I had never done CRUD work before. CRUD is short for Create, Write, Update, and Delete. This is the basic database operations. All, so many websites, I don't know, maybe 99% of web apps that you see out there have some database behind the scenes, whether it be Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, whatever. They have, they have a database, different types of databases. Anyway, I had never worked with databases in a real way prior to getting my first gig. In fact, I had never worked with an SQL-based database, and that's what, what this system was based on, prior to getting this job. But I learned as I went. I learned as I went. I followed best practices, uh, good procedures, simple code, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, things I've talked about in other videos, and I got the job done. I got it out. I got paid in full, and I learned 
uh, as I got paid. Isn't that great? <laughs>